How to upload a torrent on ISO Hunt by jbob.org. First thing you're going to need to do is become a member on ISO Hunt and get a reputation. Your reputation, I believe, has to be over 5 or over 10. I can't re recall because it's been such a long time. So if you want to start uploading, you should be a member. Get onto the forums, start helping people out, and get your reputation up so you can start uploading. With that being said, you're going to also need uTorrent. Um, I believe everyone should follow the other tutorial videos from our website on how to install uTorrent and we should go from there. So basically we are a member of ISO Hunt. So we're going to go to releases and we're going to go to post new release. Now in your post new release this is where you're going to add your information on your torrent. So we already have one selected so we're going to use this one for example. So we're going to copy this and paste it there. And in the keywords we usually do the same thing so uh, put it put it there as well. This is where you're going to add any information in reference to this torrent in general. So we're just going to go jbob test. Whoops, test. Okay. Whoops. JBob test. Uh, usually you give a rating. We usually give a hundred percent depending on yourself. If you don't like it that much, say 75 or whatever you decide to choose. You can also leave it blank. In this case we're just going to leave it blank. Um, you usually want to add the info link and it's uh, usually a link to a website. So say for example we're posting a torrent. We would go to information, move a database, do a search for on the torrent and provide the link of uh, the torrent that we're about to post. Now also you need to put an HTTP of an image so it's not necessarily meaning you have a, a picture on your computer that you want to upload because it doesn't have an HTTP. So basically you're going to have to create an account with ImageJack or other picture providers that you can post your pictures. So you might want to sign up and you will get an HTTP of the picture. So say we already did that, we're going to add our HTTP picture. And then you're going to, want to click on submit. Now when you submit, you're going to have to wait probably five minutes before it tallies up in on ISO Hunt. And you're going to get this screen come up and you can go to view your release of your torrent. So you would select onto that. So when you get select onto that, this is basically what you're going to see. Now, I took these pictures from uh, Paco. From he's one of the mods on ISO Hunt. I hope he doesn't mind me using them. So basically, this is what you're going to see. So you're you're in your release. All your information. You know the name of your torrent's going to be there. And right here at the bottom, it's going to say upload your torrent. So, since you got all the information, you want to start uploading. So, you're going to click on that. And then, when you do, this window is going to pop up. Now, this is where a lot of people don't know how to add their torrent. So, basically, if you read all this information, they're going to give you trackers. So, you're going to need these trackers. So, you should copy these three trackers before you upload your torrent. So copy them and your next case is going to be opening up uh, your uTorrent. So now since you're already in uTorrent, now you're going to want an added torrent. Uh, actually create a new torrent. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our desktop and select that test. So we're going to select that and select folders. Now those three trackers that we copied from right here, this is where we're going to add it right there. Now when you add these, you should also put a spa um, hit enter and to each one. If not, they're not going to show up. So hit enter. So you got your file already selected. Now you want to create and save it. So let's create and save it. We're going to save our torrent file 
on our desktop. So we're going to hit save. So is it done? Oh, it's all done. Okay. We're just going to close this out. So basically, we have the JBob Test 2010 DVD rip to uh, by JBob. So we're going to minimize this. This right here is the torrent file. So this is where you're going to put your release information. So whatever is stated right in here, that's what you want right there minus the tor dot torrent. So it would be JBob Test 2011 DVD Rip dot JBob. Now to upload your torrent, you're going to click on Browse, and then you're going to select your desktop. This is the torrent file you want to add. So select it, hit OK, bang oh, it's right there. Specify your torrent. Enter your language, the ISO type. Is it a game? P, you know, movie. Uh, whatever and just add just a little bit of information majority of your information is already added so after you get that you want to click on upload right here so when you click on that it might take a second it could take five minutes it could take ten minutes but nonetheless when you click on upload wait just let it go and when it's done, it will shut down and reopen back to this window with the torrent showing. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. Nonetheless, if this window shuts down on its own, that means the torrent's uploaded. So that's how you upload. Now with that being said, some people say, well, I don't see your torrent file in it. Well. The reason being on ISO Hunt, it could take up to two hours before it's posted. So you have to give it some time. So if that window closed, 9.99 .99 chances out of a 10, it's been uploaded. Um, if not, you probably, after two hours, want to go back, try uploading it again. If you upload it again and it says this torrent already existed, that means you never waited the two hours. Yes, it's there. Just give ISO on some time and it'll be posted. So that ends this tutorial. So if you found this useful, please come to our website at www.jbob.org and uh, make a donation. All right. Have a great day.